Hello guys, I'm WWWWario and welcome back to a new video from me. And this time we're gonna look further into Pokemon. I run everything with Pokemon when it comes to the Pokemon themselves, the legendary Pokemon, the characters, the towns, the cities and the regions and everything has a very interesting story to them. There are so extremely many fun facts and interesting mythologies and theories and rumors around Pokemon. So I won't be able to cover them all now in this video. It's unbelievable how many there are. But here comes a few Pokemon facts that I found very interesting. Did you know that Pokemon was originally going to be called Capsulemon? Little monsters that would live inside capsules. They were sold as toys in Japan before Pokemon was originally made. These concept arts show the early stages of Pokemon, or Capsule Monsters, as they were called back then. The name was later changed to Pocket Monsters, and finally changed to Pokemon that we know today. The name Pocket Monster, however, is still using, used today. If you look at Japanese trailers of Pokemon games or Pokemon movies, you will often hear the Japanese people say Pocket Monster instead of Pokemon. Did you know that the Pokemon Spoink need to jump or bounce all the time in order to stay alive? It stated that if Spoink stops to bounce, his heart will also stop. This means that if Spoink is knocked down in a battle, he won't be able to bounce, so... Technically, Spoink would die after each battle. Did you know that the Pokemon Clefable and the Pokemon Gengar from Generation 1 is said to have a connection? When you look at the shapes of the two Pokemon, they are very similar, nearly identical. This makes many people believe that Gengar is actually Clefable's shadow, or it could also be a ghost of Clefable. If this is true, it may also explain why normal attack moves cannot attack shadow Pokemon, and shadow attack moves cannot attack normal type Pokemon, because you cannot damage your own shadow. Did you know that it said that all people once upon a time was Pokemon? In fact, it's said that all humans or all Pokemon in general once has been a Mew and later on evolved into all the different Pokemon and some of the Pokemon started to evolve into humans. If this is true, it would also explain why some of the Pokemon are shaped as humans, such as Mr. Mime, Medicham and Machamp. And speaking of Mew, did you know that the Pokemon Ditto is said to be a failed clone of Mew? This is because both Pokemon are pink or blue when they're shiny. Both Pokemon learn transform naturally, and both Pokemon's weights are exactly the same. Did you know that the antenna on the top of Dusknor's head is said to communicate with the spirit world? The pattern on Dusknor's belly shows an angry expression used to scare its opponents away. However, the expression on his back is a smiley face used to trick little kids and fool them into the spirit world. Did you know that the Pokemon Giratina is represented as a devil in the Pokemon world? This is because when Arceus created the Alga Palkia and Giratina, Giratina was banished from heaven and sent to the devil world or the underworld. This is exactly what happened to Satan in the Bible. Also, the number of the devil is 666 and Giratina has 6 wings, 6 legs and 6 ribs. Did you know that the Pokemon Hypno is said to have an evil background? It is rumored that Hypno kidnapped children, and on the Pokedex it's even stated that the child passed away during a hypnosis. It's even made a creepypasta of Hypno called Hypnos Lullaby, and it's even made a song after the poem. Did you know that the Pokemon Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan have their names from real people? Hitmonchan is represented as Jackie Chan, and Hitmonlee is represented as Bruce Lee. Did you know that the Pokemon Regigigas was created to create the islands and the landscape and tear the continents apart? And later on, Regigigas was sealed away in Snowpoint Temple in Snowpoint City, and he was locked away using the three keys that became Regirock, Registeel and Regi-Ice, the three legendary golems from the third generation. And while Regigigas was sealed away in the Sinnoh region, the three other golems were sealed away deep within the Hoenn region, and in the sealed chamber where you unlock the caves to the three Regis in Pokemon Emerald, Ruby and Sapphire. If you read that code at the end of the cavern, it reads the following. In this cave we have lived, we owe all to the Pokemon, but we sealed the Pokemon away, we feared it. Those with courage, those with hope. Open a door, at an eternal Pokemon awaits. This may, or this is highly possible, that they are talking about Regigigas. Did you know that in the beginning, Snorlax was the heaviest Pokemon in the entire Pokemon universe? 
at 1014.1 pounds. However, in Generation 3, the new legendary Pokémon Groudon beat Snorlax at a massive 2094.4 pounds. And after this day, up to Generation 6, Groudon is still the heaviest Pokémon in the Pokémon universe. Did you know that in the original Pokémon Red and Blue and Yellow, a person outside of a cave mentions a Pokémon from Generation 5? This person says that she wished there was a Pokémon who were pink and had flower patterns on it. This is an exact reference to Muna, a Pokémon appeared in black and white. Did you know that the island called Faraway Island was first introduced in Generation 3, where you could capture Mew? However, Faraway Island was most likely created or the idea of the Faraway Island was created all the way back in the days of Pokemon Red and Blue, as, in the, as on Cinnamar Island you can find documents that tells of Faraway Island. Also, on Faraway Island there is a sign that is written by a person who actually has been there. This may mean that the person who was on Faraway Island was the same person who had written the documents on Cinnamar Island. Did you know that the Pokemon Ekans and the Pokemon Arbok has a little secret in their names? If you write their name backwards, their name will become Snake and Cobra, which are the animals that they are represented as. Did you know that the legendary birds from the first generation have a Spanish name in their names? Articuno has the number 1 in Spanish in its name, Uno, while Zapdos, while Zapdos has the number 2, Dots, and Moltres has the third number, Tres. Did you know that in 2008, Japanese scientists discovered a new protein, and they called it Pikachurin, because it worked well with electricity. And speaking of Pikachu, did you know that before the second generation, Meryl was revealed, and people believed that Meryl was going to be the evolved version of Raichu, being called Pika Blue. And did you know that the Pokemon Yamask is said to carry human souls in a mask he's carrying? And that is all the Pokemon facts that I had for you today. If you want more Pokemon facts, make sure to leave a comment below and tell me that. Also make sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to WWW if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you all on my next video. Cheers!